Okay, so it's been forever since I've made myself a dress. At least it feels that way. I can't even remember the last dress that I made, um, but I did. I was inspired by my friend to make a big old roughly gathered dress and I love it. Okay, so let's talk a bit about this dress that I'm wearing. This dress is McCall 7948. It's View C but I went ahead and I added in the sleeves um, at a bit of a longer length. Because I've already packed my patterns, we're getting ready to leave Florida here shortly. Um, I'll just insert a picture here so that way you can see what the actual pattern looks like. Oh, gosh, about a month ago, my friend had shared this picture on Instagram of like this big old roughly dress that she was wearing and I thought it was just the most amazing thing. I saw her wearing it live. It just looks so comfortable. She looks so put together. I just thought it was such an easy look and I loved it. So I thought I would try to do something similar with like big old lots of ruffle type of dress. And that's why I decided to go with that pattern. Well, with this pattern. When I pulled out this fabric, I immediately knew that I was going to play with the directions of the stripes. And so let me pop a picture in here so that you can see and then we'll go through that. Okay, so you can see the bodice has vertical stripes, sleeves, horizontal, and then the two different ruffle tiers have um, the stripes going in different directions. I absolutely love it. I cut a size 18 for this dress. Um, I didn't grade out at the hips or anything because it, because it has so much volume. I didn't need to, which is really kind of nice, actually. What I did do was I did my standard pattern adjustments for the bodice. So I did a two inch full bust adjustment, but because this pattern didn't have a um, dart in it, I went in and added it. I, I'm okay with darts. I know some people like to, you know, stay true to the design of the pattern. I don't feel that way. I feel like I'm making it. I can change it however I want because it's gonna be on my body. Um, I also, um, one thing that I did a little differently with this one was I went in and I measured my titty drop, um, which is basically like how low my apex is, my nipple, from my shoulder line, um, and I moved my dart to that area. Um, you really don't want your darts to be too high or too low. It can really make or break an outfit, so I did go ahead and I moved that. Uh, the other adjustment that I did was I lengthened my bodice. Um, gosh, and I don't remember how many inches, but it was a lot. I think I, I think I added like two, two and a half inches to the bodice. And then I shortened the last ruffle of this dress about two inches. And it worked out perfectly. The fabric that I used is from Fabric Mart. And it's a cotton, I'm not sure what type of cotton, cotton poplin, cotton shirting. Actually, I think it's a cotton shirting. I think. I'm pretty sure that Fabric Mart doesn't have it anymore um, because I got it so long ago. So sorry about that, guys. Um, I do have some extra of this fabric. So I was figuring I'm just gonna continue making masks. Originally, when the pandemic hit, I was making lots of masks out of this and then I stopped because you know, I, I really like it and I wanted to wear it. And now I have a matching mask for my dress. And I really love wearing this thing. It's so easy and fun. Well, thank you for joining me. And if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe and hit that bell because when you do that, it'll let you know the next time that I have a video up. I try to post once or twice a week and that'll let you know when there's a new video. Well, thanks for hanging out with me. And until next time, I hope that you have a wonderful day. Bye.